Mom, I said I was sorry. Yes, and Nagi accepts your apology, dear. Next time, just try to be a little more considerate of your sister's feelings, won't you? Okay, I guess, but you... No buts about it, young man. What you need is a little fruit of the spirit. There are nine varieties, and they're all good for you. Isn't that right, Ruff? Ruff! Ruff's a rock hound, Mom. He eats meat. What would he know about exotic fruit? <laughs> You might be surprised what Ruff knows if you ask him. Now, don't forget to pick up those other groceries I asked you for, okay? Sure thing, Mom. Come on, boy. Let's go shop. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. I've got everything on my mom's list, but this door seems fresh out of the fruit of the spirit. Hey, Chip. What are you doing here? Hey, Jim. I'm just picking up some groceries for my mom. Oh, that's nice. Can I help? Yeah. Do you know where they keep the fruit of the spirit? Huh? You know, nine varieties, very exotic, good for you. Mm, sorry, it's all apples and oranges to me. Hey, Ruff, how you doing, boy? Ruff! <laughs> My mom says I should ask Ruff about the fruit of the spirit. It doesn't sound like the kind of fruit that you find at a grocery store. Okay, Ruff, how about it? Show me the fruit of the spirit. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. Hey, where are you going? Well, don't look at me. You asked him, didn't you? <laughs> what are you looking at, Ruff? What are you trying to show us? Don't tell me you think he's actually look, gonna... Chip, a nest with baby birds and their parents. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I guess so. See how the parents love their babies? That's what Ruff's trying to tell us, aren't you, boy? Ooh, huh? The first fruit of the spirit is love. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. Let's go. Ruff's going to show us another fruit of the spirit. <laughs> I don't believe this. Ruff's digging up something. Are you sure you want to see this? Shh, he's about to show us another fruit of the spirit. Look, he stopped. It's a bone. No, wait. <laughs> He certainly seems happy, doesn't he? That's not just happiness. That's pure joy. <laughs> joy must be the second, second fruit, fruit of the spirit. spirit. <laughs> you see, Ruff does know something. Okay, okay. Look, that's Splinter's house right over there. Do you mind if we pop in for a minute? I gotta do something. Uh, sure. Ruff, Ruff. Hey, Splinter. Hey, Chip, Gem. Hi, Ruff. <laughs> What's up? Nothing much, but, um, hey, can I use your, uh... <laughs> yeah, no problem. As soon as Carver's finished... Oh. What are you playing, Splint? It's called Wacky War. Your rocks keep whacking their rocks until there's no more rocks to whack. Seems kind of violent to me. Hey, Ruff, get down. What are you doing? Now look what you've done. You've messed up the game. This is Wacky War. Those rocks aren't supposed to be hugging each other. They've made peace. Huh? Peace is the third fruit. <laughs> What? It's a long story. Finally! Whoops, forgot to wash my hands! Come on! Whoops. <laughs> it was him. Just have a little patience. Patience? That's it! Patience is the fourth fruit! <laughs> oh, hey, Chip! Whoa, what's the hurry? It's amazing! Ref's showing Chip the nine fruit of the spirit. So far, there's love, joy, peace, and patience. Patience, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ruff going now? Come on, let's go! Ruff's helping that old fossil cross the street. Oh, why, thank you. What a kind little rock hound you are. Kindness must be the fifth fruit of the spirit. Ruff is amazing. How do you ever learn about the fruit of the spirit? <laughs> You'll have to ask my mom about that. My mom! Oh, no! I left her groceries back there on the street! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, the Lord is good! Who else could have known my cupboards were all empty at home? The goodness of God is everywhere! I'm grounded for sure. No, don't you see? Goodness is the sixth fruit of the Spirit! It's good to give to the poor and needy. Just look at how happy that nice old fossil is. Okay, okay. Goodness is the sixth fruit. So what's number seven? <laughs> Not now, boy. We can play fetch later. You're supposed to show me the fruit of the spirit. Okay, just a few throws. Go fetch. Ruff will do anything for you, huh? 
A rock's best friend. Go fetch! Always by your side. My faithful old rock hound, Ruff. What'd you say? My faithful That's old... it! Ruff Faithfulness is the seventh fruit of the spirit! Oh, look, a cute little kitty rock. Look how soft and gentle she is. Ruff, Ruff. No, Ruff, you'll scare the kitty rock. Be gentle. Um, Jem? I think Ruff's trying to tell you that gentleness is the eighth fruit of the spirit. Ruff. Gentleness? Aha! Oh. <laughs> Ruff, come back here! Leave that kitty rock alone! Don't do it, Ruff! You'll regret it for the rest of your dog days! Come here, Ruff! Come on, boy! Don't you dare hurt that kitty rock, Ruff! <laughs> Ruff, what's gotten into you? Are you cracked? I've never seen you act this way before. Where's your self-control, bud? Where's your self-control? What? What did I say? Self-control? You were trying to tell me self-control? It's the ninth fruit of the spirit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how I lost your groceries and got to know about the fruit of the spirit. That's okay, dear. It sounds as if that sweet old fossil really needed those groceries. And I'm glad you learned about the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, verse 12. I sing them to Ruff in the kitchen all the time. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Definitely not found in the fruit section. <laughs> Against such things.